Hi friends, welcome to oil and gas training. Welcome to another video from oil and gas training. Hi dear friends, welcome to oil and gas training. Welcome to another video from oil and gas training today. Last video we have started studying about basic instrumentation and the control system. We have already completed uh, basic instrumentation part 1. Today we are discussing about uh, basic instrumentation part 2. Uh, welcome to this video. Uh, today we are discussing about pressure or uh, vacuum. Pressure is the force acting on unit area. Unit of pressure is pounds per square inch. Uh, various units are using to represent the pressure is uh, atmospheric, bar, millimeter of hg inches of water feet of water etc uh, p is equal to f by a pressure equal to force by force divided by unit area please find out the various unit using in your uh, planned uh, for uh, pressure and uh, just to see various uh, uh, meters uh, or gauges uh, to read and understand what is uh, uh, the unit and uh, how to read that uh, value of pressure in your plant Various uh, scales are using for uh, measuring uh, pressure. Uh, one is uh, gauge pressure scale and uh, absolute pressure scale and uh, vacuum scale. So various uh, gauges are using uh, to measure uh, pressure. Uh, let us see, let us review and understand uh, what is this uh, various scales uh, for using uh, gauging uh, pressure. Scales of uh, pressure measurement. The horizontal uh, line is uh, representing atmospheric pressure uh, that is in our uh, based on uh, ref with reference to sea line. So gauge pressure is uh, above atmospheric pressure is a positive pressure uh, and uh, gauge pressure uh, vacuum is uh, uh, below atmospheric pressure that is uh, negative pressure we can call simply. So, so ATM uh, pressure in uh, different unit. So absolute pressure with reference to atmospheric pressure uh, equal to gauge pressure plus uh, atmospheric pressure. So this is the various scales uh, we are using uh, gauge pressure, atmospheric pressure, vacuum pressure. So positive pressure is uh, representing vacuum pressure above atmosphere and the negative pressure is uh, uh, representing uh, vacuum pressure. It is uh, uh, below atmospheric pressure. So one uh, simple question here uh, to check your knowledge and uh, to get a more idea what is uh, when gauge pressure is equal to zero uh, in any unit what will be the absolute pressure. So just to find out this answer here uh, for do it yourself. Equivalent unit of uh, standard atmosphere, atmosphere equal to one, one even it is uh, we can take it as a various uh, conversion uh, units one atmosphere that's a pressure in atmosphere one atmosphere equal to almost 1 to 10 uh, it's a pascal and 14.7 uh, psi uh, psi is equal to pound per square inch and uh, it is giving inches of water limit of water bar or is equal to atmosphere equal to almost same one equal to one and inches of mercury it is around 30 inches of mercury and the millimeter of mercury is 760 that is uh, so various uh, unit uh, uh, representing for the same pressure a standard atmospheric pressure in uh, various uh, different unit uh, like pascal psi inches of water millimeter of water bar or millibar inches of mercury and millimeter of mercury uh, do some uh, pressure conversion examples uh, I will give you this one question is here uh, the deaerator water column. Uh, deaerator is using uh, to remove uh, uh, dissolved oxygen from uh, water before uh, entering to uh, boiler feed water. So deaerator water column it is a vertical vessel for uh, removal of uh, dissolved oxygen. So that uh, there is a seal is there water column seal will break at uh, 7.5 millimeters of water. So that is a pressure representing in meters of water. So how much it will be in PSIG? Uh, find out this answer given uh, uh, 
that's a 10 millimeter of water is equal to 14.7 uh, psig. So just to find out your answers in psig, the same way you can uh, find out uh, from your plant uh, your centrifugal pump suction and discharge pressure in psig, psia, uh, kg per centimeter square, bar, millimeter of H2O. So any other uh, pressures uh, uh, reading in uh, your plant you just to find out that pressure in which unit and they convert into various uh, other unit like atmosphere pascal psi inches uh, millimeters of water bar etc etc so that will give much confidence and a, a very, very good advantage to or by hearting or understand the clearly pressure and the pressure basic unit and how to convert to one pressure to another pressure do it this one for a couple of times to get some confidence. So various uh, uh, pressure conversion table, uh, uh, various unit uh, the conversion table is uh, provided here and just to go through it and understand uh, how the conversion is taking place and uh, compare with your practical pressure, pressure reading from your plant and uh, do the converting it in the using this table. Uh, next let us discuss about uh, how we can measure uh, pressure from the uh, plant, pressure measuring devices. Uh, normally in the uh, field we are using four type of devices that are commonly used to measure uh, pressure. Uh, one is a manometer, uh, another one is uh, water tube gauge, uh, another one is uh, diaphragm gauge and uh, last one is a uh, bellow gauge. The first one is a manometer, it is a very old type uh, uh, pressure sensing uh, device, uh, normally it is using in laboratory and uh, low pressure applications. Uh, manometer uh, is uh, using the concept of uh, a differential pressure. So two leg is uh, connected to uh, process 1 to process 2. The difference between the inside filling with a uh, uh, suitable solvent or a suitable uh, liquid uh, to rise and up and uh, to show the difference between uh, two pressure. So the differential pressure concept is uh, uh, measuring this device and uh, uh, indicating that it's a pressure difference uh, converting to actual pressure. So nowadays uh, manometer is not much using in the process application and uh, still it is using in uh, laboratory applications and low pressure applications. Uh, most commonly used uh, pressure uh, sensing device is uh, modern tube gauge, everywhere it is using, simple, very useful and uh, less maintenance, uh, very accurate reading uh, uh, providing uh, pressure. When pressure is applied to the gauge, the modern tube uh, straightens a little. This movement uh, causes the gear mechanism to change the position of the pointer on the scale. The pointer indicates the pressure measurement. So you can see from the picture, there is a pressure connecting device there. Say, uh, then another is the yellow color is showing that is a, a modern uh, tube. That is a C shape uh, gauge, C shape tube. It is connected to a pointing a link gear mechanism and uh, it's a pointing device which is uh, connecting to pointer and uh, when the pressure is applying it will straighten little and uh, the scale will move, pointer will move between the scale and uh, it will give the a reading of uh, pressure changes. The picture here showing the back side of a modern uh, tube gauge. So bottom tube is that is orange color C shape tube. It is connected to a link and a PDN gear mechanism with a pointer and a scale. So the pressure inlet is showing the bottom. So it is connected to the place where the pressure is need to measure. So once the pressure is changing, the pressure will create a force on 
extra force on the Borden tube that will slightly elaborate or extend or uh, expand the so the connecting mechanism of uh, gear and the pinion mechanism uh, will adjust and uh, the pointer will move up and down uh, when the pressure changes. You can see from this video, a small video, how the pressure is changing uh, from, uh, it is uh, two picture is here, one is a front side picture and another one is the back side picture, how it is uh, working. So it will be clear, giving you a clear picture of how bottom tube is working. Another type of uh, pressure uh, measuring uh, device is uh, uh, diaphragm gauge. You can see from the picture is uh, a diaphragm, that is a diaphragm is a uh, plastic and uh, rubber based material. It can expand easily when the pressure changes. So it is uh, connected a pointer and a scale mechanism. After that, so whenever the diaphragm is changing on a pressure change, the pointer is will change and according to the pressure we can read from the scale. So the the bottom tube is uh, we can use for the last uh, large type of pressure change. So diaphragm gauge even uh, very small pressure change also can uh, 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 accommodate and read or effectively we can uh, taking place uh, using a diaphragm gauge. A change in pressure on the flexible diagram uh, diaphragm causes pointer to move on a scale. The diaphragm gauge is more sensitive than a bottom tube. Various applications in the field like uh, pressure transmitters, uh, pneumatic and uh, electronic transmitters, uh, like uh, pressure sensor uh, uh, in the field, uh, uh, it is using uh, in uh, diaphragm gauge for uh, sensing the pressure. And a pneumatic uh, pressure controlled valve, it is using uh, pressure uh, gauge and uh, pneumatic uh, pressure transmitter in the field using uh, this uh, diaphragm type uh, pressure gauge. You can, if you are get, getting a chance to visit uh, any instrumentation workshop, just to go and see like uh, diaphragm gauge, how it is uh, working and where it is using. This is a pressure uh, uh, measuring instrument uh, and it is using a uh, diaphragm seal, a diaphragm in the downside, so it is uh, measuring using a diaphragm instead of a bottom tube. Another important type of pressure measuring device is a bellow gauge. So bellow gauge is much, much sensitive than, very good sensitive than like a bottom tube and a bottom tube and a diaphragm type. Very, very, very small changes in pressure can measure by accommodate with uh, bellows gauge. Uh, here it is there, bellow is a uh, zigzag type uh, flexible uh, material and a very ch small change in the pressure can expand and uh, contract the bellow gauge and uh, a connecting system of uh, a spring pivot system connected to scale can read uh, the pressure difference uh, properly. So flexible bellows using here uh, for uh, sensing the pressure. An increase in the pressure causes the bellows to expand. Expanding bellows will move to the move the pointer to indicate a higher a higher pressure. It is sensitive to very small uh, pressure changes. More normally it is using in a very small instrument like uh, transmitters, uh, sensors and uh, control valves uh, and uh, other uh, devices as controllers uh, like that one uh, this bellow gauge is using. Uh, pressure indicator transmitter. Uh, you can see this type of device, uh, uh, number of devices in your field. Just to go through it in the each and every device uh, next time when you get your time. So understand that on how the pressure transmitter is working. So in the upper part is a uh, indicating devices and uh, lower part is a sensing area. So the sensing area, what type of sensor it is using, either bottom tube or uh, uh, bellows type or uh, diaphragm type. So it is pressure uh, sensing and uh, receiving the pressure in uh, uh, and uh, converting that uh, into a uh, indicating method like electronic or digital or a different type or uh, uh, reading to uh, get to understand by us. So just to this is this type of uh, 
indicators uh, using this is an electronic uh, pressure indicator uh, sensing and indicating so just to go understanding and how what is the pressure sensor using in uh, field and uh, what is a transmitter using in the field what is a transmitter how it is uh, working on it uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, regularly like uh, always we are telling that one please uh, subscribe this channel for uh, timely updates and information and uh, any personal inquiries are there you can contact my whatsapp and email is there and uh, i have given few examples and uh, do it yourself uh, questions in the videos just to go to it your way your planned and uh, understand this one properly so you will get more more ideas on uh, uh, about uh, uh, pressure and uh, pressure sensor pressure scale and uh, pressure measuring devices etc so thanks for watching this video of course we will come back with uh, uh, another video with another uh, instrumentation uh, uh, information thank you